Welcome to tonight's episode of Ozfish TV. Tonight we're down at a place called Coronella in Victoria, Western Port. Now, we're not actually fishing, you can see the pier behind me, we're not actually fishing off the pier tonight. Around here you've got rocky ledges, outcrops, platforms and beaches stretching from Tempe Point right around here through Coronella and then right around to a place called Coronet Bay. Now these places house great habitats for fish. There's many different varieties and species around here. Now the best thing you can do is come around and find these sort of locations for yourself because these sort of areas are where the places where you want to you know, experiment, um, come down with your mates, have a good time trying to find a good spot or even that spot X that everyone seems to have on Facebook I see. So we're going to be fishing a few spots around here. I hope you enjoy the episode tonight here at Coronella in Victoria. There's no, there's no rod holders, so you've got to sort of make your own. So we, we come down here pretty prepared. He's got his, where's it, Makita? <laughs> Makita drill, drilling our rod holders in, and we've modified our other ones so they fit in, they fit in quite well. So uh, we've got a nice subtly, subtly breeze here. It's blowing straight on us, which is sort of good because it's chopping up the water. So that's generally good for snapper and things like that. So, well, I guess we'll soon see, won't we? <laughs> I don't think it's right. It was, it didn't really, it didn't act like it all the way, it's characteristic didn't look like it at the start. Right. Look at that sunset, people. That is magnificent. It's a good thing about this place, it's very scenic. It's quite a, quite a really picturesque spot to fish. Hey Jesse, look at that power. Go Jesse, go! <laughs> Get into it son, Get into it! <laughs> oh, look, it keeps us entertained, but unfortunately it's one more bait in the water that's been... Oh, he's taking that for a six. Look at that bending that rod. Now that rod is a light graphite. That is the Airstrike. The Rovex Airstrike, and it's a very light rod. A lot of guys use them for throwing slugs off the surf. And you can load right up on a ray on it. Check out the bend in it. Give it a bit, Jesse. Show them what people what these things are made of. That's a strong rod. Try and break, break it, Jesse. Try and break it. <laughs> While Jesse's on this stingray, I think I'll throw this over to a commercial. We'll see after the break. So we're back from the break. Greg's taken over the reins on the airstrike. Give it a bit of a tune. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the way. Get him moving. Jesse had a bite on his other rod, so Greg's kindly grabbed his stingray. There you go. And looks like he's on the onto another stingray. <laughs> you said that about the first one. Oh, oh is it? No, oh, okay. It was a bit of weed. There it goes. There's the break. <laughs> Alright, we'll be back to you with a real fish, I promise. Get him out of the way, mate. Moving slowly. The way, mate. Can't see nothing kicking. Nah. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there is something there. There is too. It's a big Trevally. It's a big Trevally. <laughs> <laughs> Trevelli on a whole pilchard. <laughs> and he ran and bucked like a good snapper too. Just shows how much power these guys have got no matter what size they are. That's a fair size. Nice Trevor mate, that's not bad. 
That's and fat. Look at that little mouth Look too. Like that. that little mouth. And he took a 5-0, was it 5-0? Twin 5-0s, yeah, whole pilchard. They can open up pretty big. Nice Enough to fill it to Yeah, he's anyway. got the bug, has he? I see a lot of people on Facebook asking what that parasite is, and that's exactly what it is. It uh, eats, eats the tongue and, uh, and feeds on anything it feeds on. Greedy little buggers, that's just cheating, isn't it? What are you going to do, mate? Gummy bait or release him? I think he's destined for the oven, actually. <laughs> oh, he's going to eat One him. of my favourite eating fish, the Trevally. Yeah, Very right. underrated table fish. I'm not a fan. What's your favourite way of cooking them? It's just oven baked. Like you would with a pinky. <laughs> well, like I would with a pinky anyway. Anyway, right. there's bigger fish to catch, so we'll get it back out there and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, there might not be. <laughs> <laughs> The rampage is rampaging. There's <laughs> one thing you're always guaranteed to catch, and that's a ray. Our strike rate is every single truck and trip we've been to any, so 100% strike rate. Is it an old Jarvis Walker? Hey, old Jarvis Walkers, mate. You know me old guys come to the shop? Still got the old, same old Jarvis Walker. Got it 30, 40 years ago. Still going strong. There he is. Nah, he's in the weed, alright. Sorry, buddy. Beautiful colours, eh? Now, note to what Mark just did: be very careful when handling them. That is the proper way of handling them in the nostrils. Keep the barb well and surely away from him, like he did. We're quite experienced in handling these things because we've caught six billion of them. But uh, always be careful when doing so. Yeah. And the rod just went bang. Good point, mate. Yeah. Could this be the drought breaker? I'm hoping so. And a lot of headbangs to it, so I don't know what it is. Probably a pinky, maybe. Oh, get out of the rock, you bugger. Oh, he's stuck in the rock. What's happened is he's tried to drag him through the weeds and he's just all snagged up. There's not much else you can do in this spot, but hope to get him off. Working on it. It wasn't so deep out there, I'd climb in. I've actually caught somebody else's line that was tangled in the rocks. There we go. Just the perfect eating size these guys are. So, I don't know how, he was stuck in those rocks for a bit, so I was gonna try and throw him back. I'll see how it go. I generally don't eat snapper very often, so I generally just catch them and throw them back. Small ones like this are nice, but. If I can't, if he doesn't swim off, then Comes home with me, I guess. There he goes. What have you got there, buddy? You thought you had a bit of weight on? <laughs> it didn't do anything. Not until it came up, I saw the eyes glowing in my torch. 
little baby leopard shark, I believe. I've never caught one of these in Westerport. I've only ever had one out on with far out with Tony. He's very soft though. A little spotty for a shark. He is actually, he is very soft, isn't he? Feels like a ling or something. Oh well, he's just pinned there by his skin. He's very unfortunate. But he's also very fortunate because he's going back in. <laughs> Off he goes. I mean, I think. Yeah, I think you might be right, mate. Yeah, yeah. certainly is. Where are we going? Yeah. Oh, I need cute. <laughs> Bouncing around, though, so I don't, I don't think it's very big. <laughs> not a bad size one actually. Yeah, not bad. That's better. Not bad at all. Good job. <laughs> you took a gummy hook. 42. 42 you reckon? Yes. Well no, you're pretty good with that. He looks like one of your big ready. And he's 30... Smaller. 39. 39. 39. From tip to tip. A nice little fish. Yeah. That's alright, let's see if he swims off. Then he gets to live, otherwise I'll take him home and cook him up. But I'll uh, I'll try and release him first. We'll just see how we go. In a bit of a swim. You know, I'm going too far. You won't be able to get him. Him. Yeah, he's got kicking him, but he's not. He's struggling to ride himself. He's starting to get it now, aren't he? It's just water that's making it hard for him. Too well. well. That's a shame. He's uh, yeah. We tried swimming the little guy, but he uh, he just yeah, he wasn't going. We tried very hard too. So, so it looks like he's coming home for dinner. Well, tomorrow night's dinner anyway. We try and release a lot of the fish we catch it every night. Every now and then we take a feed on, don't we, mate? Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's where fishing started. That's it. So, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. All right, mate. Well, I hope you taste good. Yeah, I saw the beams, I thought maybe gummy, but you might have to come down and grab your leader, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's just right. Yeah. You never fit them, 
Ball uh, Jackson's can be tricky sometimes. You wouldn't think so, but land based especially, and that one's quite a big one, mate. Variety of species, eh, lads? Too many. <laughs> Everything variety. but what we wanted. Yeah, pretty much. It, it got to the point where I didn't, I couldn't even guess what fish was coming in when, because you just never know what's coming in. But it's a uh, yeah, nice long hike back. I'm buggered. I can't wait to get home. Thanks for coming out tonight, mate. Thanks for having me. Any time, buddy. Very enjoyable. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you on the next waterway. On this week's Bragwall, it's Mullaway time. Check out this photo of Stuart Harding. He's sending a photo of him with his Mullaway, caught at the mouth of the Murray River in South Australia. Nine and a half kilos. Well done, Mick is jealous. Thanks for sending your photos in. You'll receive a Black Magic Whiting and Snapper Snatcher next time you're in the shop. Courtesy of Black Magic and Pack and Tackle. <laughs>